Be sure to check out FIFACoinsOnline.com for the best deals on FIFA coins for a place you know that you can trust. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to 20k challenge episode 21. Today we are using this team, Baldson or Bateson's old team. Uh, well, not old team, he's probably still got it, but it was a 3-5-2 mainly at Serie A, but with a touch of Spartak Moscow up at the top with Emanike and Wellerton. So, uh... I'm going to quickly get this out of the way now. Now, this guy had a Serie A slash French team as well. But I'm going to get it out of the way now. A lot of people ask me... Um how do I get involved? How do I play you? So, obviously, when I play against uh, YouTubers, you can't actually, obviously, get involved in that one unless you are a YouTuber. But if you are subscribers, when we play, when I play against the subscribers, now, uh, I used to do it where you could send me messages and uh, I, I'd pick you out of random. But now, that's a lot harder to do because it means I've got to wait for, like, people to make sure they're online and stuff. Now, what I do is I tweet. I tweet from my Twitter account, which you can find in, in the description. It's at Curtis Morton as well. I tweet saying, link me your 20k challenges and then I'll play you from there so don't go there and tweet me them now just follow me and then just hope you're online when I tweet out for it maybe check every now and then but usually I'll be tweeting right the minute that I'm going to be uh, looking for some games and usually I'll get two or three links there so the most hybridized one I will then play so keep your team uh, like build it and get it ready so then maybe you can play me so as you can see we had a very very dull first half and uh, it took until the 54th minute for there to actually be any goals I don't think there was a single shot on target in the first half but uh, Kosu there managed to get the lead and then some absolutely lovely dancing play there and then two fantastic tackles by me to completely shut out the play and uh, get the ball back but I really thought it was going to score after some lovely tackles uh, later on I chipped the ball over to Emanike did a lovely little flick back to completely confuse the goalie but for Lucky for him, his centre-back there was to block my shot. Otherwise, I'm sure I would have actually scored there. But El Shwari then later on picked it up down the wing, cut back, and then whipped it into the box. Nothing really came from it. It dropped to his feet. I had a shot. Sadly, I wanted it to go for the back post. I'm sure it would have gone in, but instead it went front post. We got a corner, and... Ogbonna got on the head of it. It bounced off Giovinco into the back of the net. I was a little bit confused as to what was going on, because like it didn't even look like an OG until he started crying about it. But... Um, we got the goal and then almost instantly after that I was still ultra attacking and he went down the other end and got another one and it was looking like it was going to be it, like it was gone. I was really struggling to get the ball back off him. Then all of a sudden, 90th minute, he used it back to his goalie and dink into his own net. I don't really know why he did that. Maybe he wanted to take it to extra time or something. But we did go into extra time and <laughs> it was actually two OGs, although one of them wasn't intentional. But uh, that meant we took it into extra time, extra time and penos. And uh, it was a bit more of a lively extra time, which is nice to see. We had a corner a couple minutes in, which a few players kept getting close to scoring. Absolutely smashing shot there by Gambarini, but uh, got blocked. Uh, Biabiani here did a bit of random dribbling, played the ball to Wellington. He dummied it, played in El Shawari, who had a shot saved and then whipped back in by MNEK onto the foot of Emmanuelson. Lovely little volley there on the pivot turn and that gave us a 3-2 lead. Probably didn't really deserve it. I get like the shots on target were quite even. He held the ball a lot which was quite hard for me to defend or like get the ball back from him so it made it hard for me to do stuff but um this was really annoying. I got a free kick here, and I was talking to someone about something really important on Skype. It was like a YouTube thing, uh, but not with a YouTuber. It was with a different company, and uh, I was distracted. Like, think I was just rushing back, and then the computer took the free kick for me, which meant it was an absolutely appalling free kick straight to the goalie, and then the goalie lobbed it out to one of his players. He then beat mine and was through on goal. All through the computer. Damn you, computer. And you know what he did. My players weren't quick enough to get back. And he actually equalised. Which, oh, I was so frustrated about. The computer took it. And that then meant that we went on to penalties. Nothing else happened after that. Wellington taking the first penalty here. Easily just slotting it home. I tried to cut out some of the gap in between each penalty so it goes quicker. Mickley there, absolutely thumping that penalty home. Lovely, lovely penalty indeed. MNEK then snapped up. And hit the post. Oh no, what was I doing? Hitting the post. Very silly. I then dived left and saved it. There we go. The M and e K's one can be written off. I guess it's annoying that we didn't capitalise on the fact we saved theirs. But could be worse. And then, oh no, it got even worse. I hit it straight down the middle at the keeper. And then he hit it down the middle and actually scored it. It wasn't looking good for us here. Now we were 2-1 down. The same amount of penalties taken. El Shirari dummies this one here. The goalie luckily didn't go the right way. And we then pulled it back. But he still had a penalty in hand. Which Giovinco stepped up and took. And a lovely penalty into the top corner. And Marchetti was nowhere near even getting it. Biabiani then... Uh, what's it called when you 
uh, dummied it or whatever, I can't remember, stuttered, there we go. And then he scored his as well, and then that was it. He won the penalty shootout. Game over for me, and... I failed massively. A bit gutted that I did that, but oh well. That is the end of this episode, guys. If you could leave a like, that would be absolutely fantastic. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If we could get to 350 likes, that would be amazing. If you click on the screen now, you can check out the latest episode of 20k challenge on the one on the right. And on the left, you can watch my latest upload of the Swansea City career mode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.